Queen Elizabeth really hates one specific word, and her royal pet peeve relates to Meghan Markle. There is one word in particular that the Queen says is vulgar and won't use. There are literally written rules to follow in order to be a part of the royal family, but aides say there are some unspoken rules that also need to be learned along the way. For instance, there is a word that one might use in conversation which seems rather mundane, but it's a serious trigger for Queen Elizabeth, and it relates to Meghan, Duchess of Sussex. Express says that it's likely if you use this word once in the company of the Queen, you never will again because it's a real pet peeve of the monarch. At the top of the list is vulgarity and vulgar words, but her definition of the word vulgar is likely more severe than most. Right now, the word pregnant is really ticking Queen Elizabeth off. Because Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are expecting their first child, the Queen prefers that you say that Duchess Meghan is in a family way. There are also people that Queen Elizabeth finds to be vulgar including Beatles icon John Lennon. The monarch was delighted and relieved when Lennon returned his Order of the British Empire, OBE, in 1969 as a sort of protest. But it's not just those who meet the Queen for the first time who get nervous about saying the wrong thing. Prince Harry has confessed that when he bumps into Granny around the palace on an unscheduled meeting, he gets a bit tense too, says US Weekly. If you suddenly bump into, the Queen, in the corridor, don't panic. The 34-year-old royal says while laughing. I know you will, we all do. It seems that even the British public understands that Queen Elizabeth has no patience for vulgar words and people because they actually use the word vulgarity in a petition presented to the palace, says US Weekly. The letter was signed by hundreds of thousands of citizens who thought that the Queen should refuse to meet with Donald Trump. Donald Trump should be allowed to enter the UK in his capacity as head of the US government, but he should not be invited to make an official state visit because it would cause embarrassment to Her Majesty the Queen. Donald Trump's well-documented misogyny and vulgarity disqualifies him from being received by Her Majesty the Queen or the Prince of Wales. Therefore during the term of his presidency, Donald Trump should not be invited to the United Kingdom for an official state visit.